Okay, so today I'm going to answer a handful of questions that I've been asked recently all about closing. So we're gonna talk all about the closing process. These are things I think will be helpful for you to know whether you're a buyer or a seller about closing. And um, I'm gonna maybe talk fast because my camera's dying. I've done a couple videos about closing as well, but these were some, some of these were new questions that I don't believe I've covered. So we're gonna just go a little bit more in depth and talk about what will happen and what to expect on closing day. What happens when you close? So just to get this out of the way, something a big um, misunderstanding or misconception that I see as a real estate agent all the time is um, people misunderstanding the difference between closing and signing. So a lot of people think that, I, and it makes sense, I would think this too, um, when you go in to sign, that's like the same as closing and that's when you get your money. So when you go in to sign at the title company, um, that's not closing. Closing and signing are two different things. So basically you go in to sign, that's just signing. That's all that that is. And then um, it's gonna take a little bit of time for your loan to officially close and fund. So generally, if you go in, say, you're closing on a Friday. So say you go in that Friday morning to sign, um, you should be funded and officially closed by the end of the business day. But if you go in to sign at the title company at Friday at like 12 o'clock noon, then you're more than likely, you're probably not going to close that day. You'll be closing the next business day. So you'll probably be closing by the end of the day Monday, So if that makes sense. So that's the, about the amount of time that it takes um, from signing to officially closing and funding. So the closing, the word closing, when that happens, that is when the buyers are officially the owners. They get the keys, they've paid for it, The it is in their name now, and the sellers have paid, it is funded, that's like officially closed. So that's a little like thing, I guess, about funding and closing and signing and all of that. So that's what happens when you close. Will the buyers be there? So I had a home seller ask me this, if the buyers will be there at closing, here in Oregon at least, um, the buyers and sellers don't sign together. So the buyers are going to make their appointment with the title company to go and sign. You'll go into your room by yourselves and the sellers are going to make a separate appointment at the title company. They're gonna go in and sign um, their papers. So maybe you guys will run into you each other there like one will be coming in as the other one's going out but not necessarily because usually it doesn't work that way and you don't usually schedule them back to back maybe you do but yeah so generally you're not gonna see each other and um, you're not going to be in the room at the same time signing. will I get the keys at closing when I go to the title company to sign asking from a buyer no um, you won't get the keys there I don't I want to say the title company isn't even like allowed to give keys out there um, just because of the whole like I explained in the beginning signing and funding two different things because of that I don't believe they're able to actually like give you the keys because when we sign it's not actually funded yet and so it's not technically yours until it's funded so um, no but you will schedule a time with your real estate agent for them to meet you there and give you the keys or make some other type of arrangement if that doesn't work for you to get the keys to you where is signing at so signing happens at the title company so whatever title company it is that you're closing at that is where you'll be going to sign before we sign do we get to see the house before closing you will have the opportunity to do a final walkthrough of the home um, that's where you just walk through the home keep your eye out for things make sure that's nothing nothing is like broken that wasn't already broken um, make sure the repairs are all done up to your standards and all of that so yes you will have the opportunity to walk through the home that is it for today's video if you enjoy learning about real estate head over to our channel we have different playlists where you can watch all kinds of real estate videos and learn more about buying or selling and i'll see you guys next time